Hey Fingsters and welcome to this video where I want to show you the best Python style checker there is. So um, so, so what is the, there are different style checkers but all of those have in common that um, you, can, you can compare your code. So if you write some Python code you can compare it with the official PEP standard. The PEP 8 standard is, is the official style guide of the Python code and it was actually co-authored by the Python creator Guido van Rossum. Um, who is an awesome guy? He is a benevolent dictator for life in uh, Python, and um, so and he like developed a lot of um, guide guidelines about how you can write uh, proper Python code that is really shareable and understandable by many other um, by all other Python coders in the world. Okay, so um, you should adhere to the PEP8 um, uh, uh, guidelines, style guidelines, and uh, there are different online tools available where you can copy and paste your code and improve your style, okay, your writing style. So the first one we recommend is actually uh, the pythonchecker.com. Um, it's a, um, like the idea is to, you can you can also use HTTP. Um, you can, the Python pythonchecker.com, uh, it works uh, based on your, um, so, you, so you type in some code here it's similar to Hemingway app if you know Hemingway app. Uh, so you, you type in some code here and as you type in the code, the code is checked and there are some instructions. Okay, and the instructions are really understandable and readable. So for example here this line is too long and so it gives me an uh, indication like a comment should not be longer than 72 characters. So what you, you are doing is like um, increase uh, so add, the, add, add another line, simply break the line and now the um, hint the notification disappears and your your overall score this is also unique for the pythonchecker.com app your, uh, your your code score will increase okay over time and it gives you some hint how good your code actually is and now for example here you see like put white spaces around the operator so you can really play around and this is actually it's a good um, it's a good training for you to improve your um, python uh, Python coding skills because you will like over time you will learn how to write nice code and this gives you this gives you instant feedback so you instantly see whether your code is actually uh, adheres to the style lines or not okay so this is a, it's a good exercise to do this to um, the class name should should have camel case and not with underscores so you can use something like this electro bike and it should start with an um, capital letter like this electro bike and then we have some like one more speed so this is function name should start with lowercase letter then numbers and something okay so you can something like this you simply add white space around those okay so this is like one tool that uh, that works nicely so you can improve your your um, your python code uh, here with pythonchecker.com another tool is pep8online.com so you check out this tool here you can copy paste your python code you have to do it first let's say we copy paste um, so i have some code here actually just copy paste code here and now you can click check code and now you see check results yeah model level import not at top of the file so this import statement should be at the top okay so then just put it on the top and then we check again all right now the code seems to be right already um okay so this is a, a second tool it's also a nice nice little tool you can also upload files this is unique here so you can have your python files uploaded and let it check against uh, this um another one is python buddy and i actually know the guy who's behind python uh, buddy he's an, he's very he's a nice guy uh, so he's um uh, he has created an a, a awesome page he's in the research it's ethan ethan chu is it Ethan True? I don't know uh, the last name, but uh, Ethan. And uh, yeah, he's he's doing research. He's doing a lot of stuff. And um, this tool is also nice. You can see here we have some unused arguments, so you can, um, for example, yeah, remove the arguments here. Then you click run, and now the hint should should be removed. Too many function arguments. Okay, so now we can remove this. Run it again. And now it works. Okay, so this also checks your code. You can also use pythonbuddy.com. It helps you. Like it's an, even an, 
uh, it's an online highlight so you can even um, you can basically um, pass any your co copy paste any code you want here um, okay the next one is that's it already <laughs> okay so we have already uh, achieved uh, so I think these are the top three um, pep 8 online checker at least when I wrote this article maybe two three months ago and um, yeah so the pythonchecker.com is like our favorite because it like dynamically checks it but here it there seems to seems to be a problem with the certificate so you need to to you uh, to use http instead of https uh, otherwise it works perfectly and you can just um, add your code here okay so that's it thanks for listening to this video and see you in the next video bye